In today's video, we're going to be checking out the new NECA Toys Aliens Lieutenant Ellen Ripley in Bomber Jacket. Grabbing the tape measure, Ellen Ripley stands at a bruh, just a little over seven inches in height. For her accessories, she comes included with the M41A Pulse Rifle. And uh, again, you know, we've seen this before with the other releases. You can't have nearly enough of these M uh, M41 Pulse Rifles. I think it does look pretty good. I mean, it's got the same sort of coloring and same sort of great sculpt that NEC has delivered in the past when they've released this included with a lot of the uh, Colonial Marines that we've seen before. So, you, you know, you've got a lot of great Swamp Green incorporated here as well. And then additionally to that, they've got a little bit of a kind of a more dingier wash to it. So it doesn't look like the Pulse Rifle is brand new. This is something that's been in the trenches a lot of times. It even has the adjustable, well, it's not so much adjustable, but it does have a little bit of give to it. Uh, it has a rubber strap that you can either put it over top of Ripley's shoulders, uh, or what you can also do, of course, is you can put it into her hand. And uh, the hands are sculpted in just the right way. If you angle the pulse rifle and you can get her hand underneath it, she can actually perfectly hold it in, in both of her hands, which is a nice touch. One thing that they've also gone ahead and included as well is this. And it, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of this in all honesty. The idea is it's supposed to, there's a little hole and there's a little peg. The peg goes to the top of the pulse rifle and it's supposed to just clamp, just kind of peg itself into the nozzle area of the top of the, uh, the pulse rifle and you get something that looks like this. I don't personally think it looks like it's being shot. In fact, it looks like it's, it almost looks like it's just this froth that's come out the top of a soda beverage. I mean, it, it's okay, I guess maybe from a distance, it looks better than it does up close. I appreciate that they would have incorporated something like this to the pulse rifle, but I think this could have been changed just a little bit though. And luckily it is removable. So, I mean, you know, if you don't want to have it displayed with that, you don't have to have it displayed with the pulse rifle. You can completely just leave it off if you, if you so wish. Let's go ahead and take this out of her hand and have a look at Ellen Ripley, which, uh, you know, we've gotten tons and tons of Ellen Ripley's before. Like this is, this is nothing new. And I, I still think it's a great head sculpt. I think it's a good solid head sculpt that NECA has delivered once again here with Ellen Ripley. A little bit shorter of a hair, mind you. I'm just going to move the pulse rifle out of the way. The hair is granted shorter as it appears in the movie Aliens rather than Alien, which has a little bit longer. But I, I dig the head sculpt. Now we've gotten this one before with the uh, with uh, the Alien 3 Alien Ripley. And of course we've gotten this this specific figure we have gotten before also packaged with Newt, if you had a chance to get Newt. Now this one does have the bomber jacket as well. And uh, you know, again, like if you didn't get a chance to get any of maybe the Ripley's before, this is a good opportunity for you. I certainly will not knock NECA for kind of double dipping or triple dipping in this instance, giving us another Ripley. Because, you know, you can never have nearly enough Ripley's. The, the face sculpt's good. The hair sculpt is decent. And I do, I do like the fact that the jacket has been incorporated in here. Coloring is very nice as well. Not only in the jacket, but also in the actual, uh, you know, the, the flight. I don't know what you would call it. The, the actual suit that she wears. The jacket is not removable nor is it even elevated from the rest of it. It is rubbery, but the rubber actually, this is all attached to the torso piece. So you can't even like really separate the jacket from the rest of the outfit underneath without really moving this as well. Uh, small details such as the watch have still been sculpted into her wrist. Still, unfortunately, got the classic Sigourney Weaver flat behind. Sigourney Weaver. Even when Sigourney Weaver was young and 
I dare say quite attractive back in the day, maybe like Ghostbusters and Alien era. Uh, sadly, she did not have the most defined of buttocks. And unfortunately, this figure does really, really do, does a good job of representing that. But all the little wrinkles and creases and stuff like that are in the pants. You've got little zippers on the, the pant pockets on the sides and also on the top of the thighs. Again, no real complaints I could make about the jacket. The jacket looks good. You know, from a slight angle and just the way the lighting hits it, it does resonate. It gives me that sense that it looks like it's leather. And of course, it's not. It's just plastic. Uh, that really is the good mark of a figure company when they can incorporate one medium and present it in such a way that it looks like it's made of a different fabric. So good job there. Even like the trim around the sleeves and the bottom of the jacket are done nicely. Yeah, I, I don't know if I would say there's anything I would really change about the figure. Maybe, maybe just one thing, I would throw in a different facial expression. While I do think that this is a great head sculpt for Sigourney Weaver, you know, we have gotten this face before. Maybe if they had slightly just changed something to the mouth, maybe more like a, I don't know, a more determined look, more angrier look on Sigourney Weaver's face, I think it would have worked just as good. Especially if you're going to be displaying her with the rifle, I think it would make more sense that, you know, you could have done something a little bit differently to her face instead of just going back to the same mold. The mold is good, don't get me wrong, but just a different expression from time to time on some of these figures couldn't really make them separate much greater from this figure versus maybe some of the previous figures that we gotten as well. Posability on Ellen Ripley. Her head is on a ball joint, so it would theoretically rotate all the way around. You really don't want to do this if this was the real person. That would kill her. Head hinges up and down as well. Shoulders hinge outward on universal joints. You got the rotation all the way around. You got the bend in the elbow. Um, rotation in the forearm, but actually the rotation is a separate piece from the part up here. I thought actually the rotation would be here, but instead actually the rotation is right below the hinge of the elbow. She also has the rotations in her hands, slight angled hinges there as well. Uh, she does have a ball joint, and it, it doesn't give you the greatest amount of posability, but it gives you just enough that it, you know, if you want to have her displayed on a slight angle as opposed to just always having the figures straight, it does give you some options there as well. Legs forward and back, you've got the split out. This, like other NECA releases, are is a again that softer plastic, so it does a great job of hiding and concealing the joints, which is something that NECA does very strongly of hiding their joints. Like even in the legs, you can obviously see, see where the joint would sit, but it being that they have that little cuff of plastic over top of it, it does a good job of hiding that little the little hinge area. And then you've got the rotation in the leg, and you've got the rotation in the foot, ankle pivot, and a forward and back up and down. I have no problems at all when a company double dips, sometimes triple dips a figure, if the figure is good to start off with. If its original outing was good, why not stick with what works? This Ellen Ripley, included with the bomber jacket, is still a great looking sculpt. It looks like Ellen Ripley, more importantly, of course, it looks like Sigourney Weaver. And I think everything about the figure is done really well. Maybe for future outings for an Ellen Ripley, maybe we might get some varying sculpts to the face, maybe something slightly different in the expression, so that those figures, the future figures, can truly be different from the ones that were released prior to that. The additional firing uh, appliance that can be added to the end of the pulse rifle is okay, but I think it could have been a lot better than what it ended up turning out to be. Still, it's a great looking figure. This is a great opportunity as well that if you didn't get a chance to get Ellen Ripley in the past, you can now pick up Ellen Ripley here in her bomber jacket. Today, we were having a look at the NECA Toys Aliens. This was Lieutenant Ellen Ripley in her bomber jacket. If you guys haven't had a chance yet to subscribe to this channel, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. Of course, more videos to follow. And if you want to also check out previous NECA reviews, I've got a playlist on this channel that you can go back and watch at your viewing pleasure as well. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.